We're gonna buy a disposable camera so we can go on a disposable camera shoot. First stop, makeup. So we just got Alina's makeup done. Hey you guys! We're on our way to Nobu. Cut to Nobu. So we arrived at Nobu. We're gonna shoot with Alina. Hopefully we can sneak that camera in. We'll keep you posted. As you can see, we got in with no issues. Now, I should have known better not to completely backlight her with the sun because all highlight information is gone. Except for that little piece on her left where I could see some sky, some waves, and the ocean. Her skin tone is fine, it's exposed well, but because it's a disposable camera, I couldn't tell that her hair was in her face. The next one I decided to shoot it vertically, but as you can tell, it's no good at all. First, we're completely out of focus. We have the same reoccurring issues as last time, highlights are completely blown out, and now we have my horizon being completely off. I would crop in and fix it, but I would cut her feet out at an awkward spot, so I'm leaving it like that. Fortunately, the next one is super dope, so let's take a look at that one. This one I'm happy with. The horizon is fine. Her skin tones are perfectly exposed along with a jacket. There's some greenery to her left. You can see the beautiful ocean to the left side too. I'm still overexposed. It's still clipping the highlights. But overall, I like the picture, the wind in her hair. I'm really happy with this shot. So let's move on to the next spot. We're at the next spot. It's just a random view in Malibu right in front of Pepperdine. These are the photos. Ooh, ooh. Look at me. Same thing here. This one's out of focus, but overall, nice photo. This one is basically the same shot. It's just shot vertically. I like the other one better. I came in for a close-up shot on this one. I really like it. Let's move on to the next spot. For our final spot, I took Alina to a little hidden gem in Malibu. Alright guys, we're at our second location. Dropped the camera, dropped a lot of gear, but we're out here. I don't have my wind muff, so sorry if it's a little windy, but you do what you can. I started shooting vertically in this location. Thankfully, I didn't backlight her like last time, so we have her well exposed. Only her skin tone is a little bit overexposed, but the rest is fine. We tried a little bit of a different pose here. Same thing, everything's good. Just her skin tone is a little bit overexposed. Let me get your flowers. Yeah. Out of all the vertical ones, this was my favorite. I just wish I would have lowered myself a little bit so I'm at least at eye level, but overall, great picture. Tilt your head to the right a little bit. There you go. We switched over to landscape now. We got the sunset over to the right. We have her to the left for the flowers. And we have some interesting rocks in the middle with a beautiful ocean. No straight how you had it actually, kind of like the, there you go. There you go, that's better, that's better, that's better. Same thing here. We got a little more sunlight on her face. Overall, a beautiful picture. What else, how much do you have? <gasps> Did I use up all of them already? No! What about the club? I guess I'll use your Polaroids. It's okay, yeah. I'll scan your Polaroids. Damn, guys. And cut to that. So yeah, unfortunately we ended this early. We were having so much fun with a film camera, so I was not tracking my film exposures. So to recap my top three favorite exposures, obviously the first one at Nobu is this one. The lighting's perfect. She's right in center frame. She's perfectly exposed along with the jacket. You have the beautiful ocean in the back. This next one is rule of thirds, obviously. Once again, I'm a sucker for the ocean. So we have an ocean view in the background, some greenery around her, perfectly framing her. Everything's perfect in this one. This last one is really nice. We're getting close to sunset, so everything is really warm. The flowers are white. You can tell that they're a little bit yellow because of the sunlight and the water to her right is super inviting. I wish it would have been a warmer day because I would have hopped in for sure. And that's a wrap for our disposable camera shoot. This is super fun to make. I always see these on YouTube and I've always wanted to make one. So this is my first one. If you guys like this video, please consider subscribing. Leave a hate or positive comment down below. I don't care. I will use both as fuel and I'll see you guys on my next video.